and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup, aka my daily makeup routine. So the last time I did one of these videos was I think over a year ago and I've definitely switched up the products that I use since then and I just think it's definitely time to update you guys. Plus, I get a ton of questions about like how I do my eyebrows or what mascara I use, stuff like that. And it's actually quite simple. I don't do any eyeshadow or eyeliner or anything like that. I am just going to get right on into this and I hope that you guys will enjoy watching. Let's get started. Alright guys, so here I am now with no makeup on and I have all of my makeup products just sitting out here in front of me and girl, we got a lot to do. So, we are just going to get started with one of my favorite primers ever. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. This gives my skin a nice glow. So I take about that much, a pea-sized amount if you will. I put a dot on my forehead, I put a dot on my nose, I put a dot on my chin. That's really where I focus this primer. Oh my gosh, guys, the other day I sprinkled pink sparkles everywhere in my bedroom and um, now everything I touch I get sparkles on my hands and um, now there's sparkles on my forehead, so that's fun. Anyways, guys, so now I'm going to be going in with my second primer. This is the Pore Professional Primer by Benefit, and this just really shrinks those unwanted enlarged pores. So I'm taking about a pea-sized amount once again, and um, I like to focus this stuff on my cheeks. So now that we have primed our face, I'm going to be taking my favorite concealer ever, hands down. This is by NARS. I am in the shade Vanilla Light 2. Anyway, so I am going to be taking this and I am just going to be putting it over my trouble spots, aka breakouts, because unfortunately I was not genetically blessed with flawless skin. Why won't you go away, you little idiot? <laughs> now that we are done with concealer, we are going to be moving on to foundation. And yes, I use two different foundations because when I mix them, it matches my skin tone perfectly. I love both of these foundations so much. So I'm going to be using the Lancome 24 hour foundation. So I'm in the shade 215 and then I'm also going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. I prefer the hydrating one over the matte one, just saying. But anyway, um, this is in the shade Light and Neutral. What I do is take the Tarte foundation and I just kind of do one, two, three dots on my head with this. Um, then one, two, three, four, five on my cheek. Then I take my second foundation and I do the same thing except um, I kind of have to use my finger because this one doesn't have a wand like the other one. Not many foundations do have a wand, they usually have pumps, so the Tarte Shape Tape is very unique. Now that I look insane, I am going to take my Real Techniques foundation brush and I am just going to be kind of buffing this into my skin, is that what you call it? We're just, we're gonna go with that, okay? Okay. Blend it down to your neck where people will look at you like, hey girl, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. There are dogs that are barking at my singing in the neighborhood. Maybe that's a sign that I should just stop. All right guys, so now that I have applied my foundation to my face and it is all blended into my skin, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer and I am in the shade Light. I like to focus this mainly under my eyes and then I also put a little bit on my forehead. I will show you. I'm not gonna talk for a second because this requires complete concentration, so. I was 
gonna start like randomly humming as I did this um, because that's what people do whenever things are quiet and awkward but um I think that that just makes things more awkward because it's like okay you both know that it's silent and awkward in here you don't need to sing to make up for it because we all just know what you're thinking this is awkward okay so did you see what I did there I'm gonna do a little whoop whoop right down the bridge of my nose. I like to blend in my concealer using my middle finger. I know some people like to use a beauty blender to do this, but I just feel like the beauty blenders kind of soak up too much of the product and then you have to apply more and it's just like, no way, Jose. my foundation and concealer I'm going to be taking my favorite pressed powder this is the Maybelline fit me matte plus poreless normal to oily pressed powder yeah that was a mouthful I'm in the shade 120 classic ivory and I just take the little sponge applicator that this comes with I kind of do a little um, I don't know I do this in a patting motion. I don't sweep this onto my face because then it kind of messes up what I just did. Um, so to keep everything in place, I just kind of press it into my skin like so. Now that I look super two-dimensional and ghostly, um, it is finally time to go in with some bronzer and blush and highlight and all that fun stuff. This is the Anastasia Contour Kit Light to Medium and I've had this baby for a long time and look, there's still quite a bit left. So I got this for like my 17th birthday, I think. I like to take this middle brown shade right here. In the summer, I usually use one of the darker ones, but because it is winter and I am very pale, I like to just take the middle one and I'm going to just suck in my cheeks, do that little fishy face, and I'm pretty much just going to be putting this on my cheekbones and on my temples and you'll see just just watch and learn okay watch and learn my friend there's sparkles in my hair I'm just a glitter ball today after I'm done I like to take the same shade that middle one right there and I like to contour my nose a little bit. Um, remind me never to sprinkle pink sparkles everywhere ever again because literally now they're in my makeup brushes and I am officially triggered. Okay, so here we go. I just do two very, very faint, very subtle lines down the bridge of my nose. So I start like where my eyebrow starts and go down. And then I like to get the bottom a little bit too. Once I am done with the bronzer, I like to immediately go in with my highlighter. And people ask me all the time what kind of highlight I use. I use the Luna highlighter. I got this in an Ipsy Glam bag. And I just take my finger and I put some on the tip of my nose. And I know sometimes this can look super bright to some people um, and kind of crazy. But I personally don't care what people think. Then I like to take a little bit and just go mm, 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 there. I don't know what those noises were, but I like to put some on my cupid's bow. Yeah. And then I just do a tiny little bit. And that is all I do for highlighter. Now for blush. We can't forget about blush. I like to take this blush by Tarte. It is in the color First Class. I dropped this the other day and look. It shattered and it made me so sad. We're gonna work with it though because this is my favorite blush. Okay, yay, 
I look more human. Now that I'm done with all that, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. And you guys have been asking me to do like an eyebrow tutorial because you're always telling me my eyebrows are on fleek, so thank you, thank you. I'm going to be showing you right here, right now, exactly what I do. So first things first. So this is my holy grail brow product right now. It is this MAC eyebrow pencil in the color brunette. So um, one side has a spoolie and the other side is the actual product itself. Um, I'm gonna need to take this. This requires complete concentration. I am first just going to brush out my eyebrows, okay? Because this just helps, it just helps. So once they are all brushed out, I'm going to take the other side of the brow pencil. I am just going to do some light strokes, okay? Light strokes. I kind of make the arch a little bit higher than it really is, just because I like the way it looks but generally I try to follow the natural shape of my brow with the exception of like I said kind of going up a little bit higher right about here so one eyebrow is done and now I am going to do the same thing to my other eyebrow and I'm not gonna talk while I'm doing it because you guys just um, saw me do the other one now it's time to do the left one Now that both of my eyebrows have been filled in, I am just going to brush them out. And I do this in an, I was just gonna say, I do this in an upward stroke. Like what? I'm trying to be too fancy with my makeup terminology here. So I'm just brushing them as you can see, brushing them upward. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to do a little bit of brow highlighting. And um, what I do for this is I actually take this All May little eyeshadow kit. It's in the shade 220 Less Is More. I take this little brush right here. I don't even know what brand it was from. I got it when I was like 12, honestly. And what I do is I literally just kind of take all of the different shades. Like, as you can see, I wasn't really too particular. I just go underneath my brow bone. It makes a very subtle difference, but I notice it and um, I think it just makes your eyebrows look more on fleek. Do the same thing on the other side. There we go, so I'm done with the brow highlight. Now what I'm gonna do is, actually we're gonna go a little bit out of order here. My lips, as I'm talking, are starting to feel slightly dry. I know, don't kill me, I'm the lip balm queen and my lips should never be dry. But we're gonna skip ahead here a little bit and prime our lips, if you will, for the lip product I put on at the end. So I'm gonna be taking my hashtag on fleek frosted cupcake lip balm by, seriously, by Lipsest. Lipsest is my own lip balm brand. This is my favorite right now. It smells literally like heaven. Oh my gosh, it, it actually smells like a birthday cake with like a million layers of frosting. So I'm just putting this on my lips, cures the dryness, and I'm gonna show you how beautiful it makes them look. Wait, look at how glossy they look. Oh my gosh, this lip set in particular, I swear, it just has this like glossy looking effect. It's not a lip gloss, it's a lip balm, but those rich oils in there, girl. Mm. Now we're going to be moving on to eyes because eyes are the window to the soul. Pay attention guys because you are always asking me in the comments, what mascara do you use? What's your mascara routine? So. I use three different things currently for my eyelashes. The first product that I use is the Lash Food Conditioning Collagen Lash Primer. This not only primes your eyelashes, but it makes them a lot healthier and thicker and fuller. Wiggle, 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 do, 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 do. wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Remember that song, guys, from like 2014? Don't forget the little baby lashes. Your lower lashes matter too, guys, okay? I'm just gonna be repeating that process on my other eye. So 
now that I have primed my lashes, I am going to be going in with my favorite mascara at the moment. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions Mascara in the shade Blackest Black. I've been a fan of this mascara since I could remember. <laughs> like, it's amazing. But by the way, lately I have not been doing any eyeliner or any eyeshadow. I really just do like a very solid job at my mascara and um, I don't feel like I need anything else. So let me show you how I do my mascara. As you can see, I raise my eyebrow, start at the roots of my lashes and then wiggle my way up, okay? done using my CoverGirl Clump Crush Mascara. I am going to be using one more mascara here just to make sure my eyelashes are completely and totally on fleek, like no questions asked. Um, so this is the Rimmel London Scandalize Mascara. I like to just kind of take this and start in the middle of my eyelashes and then just blink and swipe up, okay? It gives me a nice amount of volume, that's for sure. So you can already see a difference between my right eye and my left eye. This one is like boom and the other one is like pretty but it's not like boom. And I'm going for that boom look today, okay? So now we're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. That is actually everything that I do for eyes. And now the last thing we're going to be doing is lips. So as you know, I already put on a chapstick. It was my lip cest in hashtag on fleek frosted cupcake. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of my favorite lip liners. This is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. It's in the shade Lay Down the Mobs. I'm going to be outlining my lips and I'm not gonna talk for this process because this is a very prestigious thing and I don't wanna mess up. Okay, so I am done outlining my lips. Now the very, very last step of my makeup routine is taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Lip Gloss in the shade Statement Nude, and I'm just gonna put it on my lips. Nothing too crazy. Okay, you guys, so that was all for my makeup routine. I hope that you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know if you would like me to do more makeup videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. You are the bomb.com and I love you so, so much. So, yeah, talk to you later. Bye. Mwah.